An iconic college football cheer banned from the swamp. University of Florida President Kent Fuchs says the school will no longer use the phrase gator bait due to its horrific historic racist imagery. If you ain't a gator, you must be gator bait. But former gator safety Lawrence Wright disagrees with the association. Someone goes and researches something that happened in the 1800s. We're in 2000. And so for me, what our meaning and what our delivery is is something totally different. The UF Hall of Famer coined the phrase in 1996 after the team's first national championship. Florida State! I don't think the president understands, I don't think he even understands who I was, but knows who I was and know how much it would impact me. While the cheer appears to be harmless, the phrase does have a racist past. A 1923 headline from the Atlanta Independent says, Babies used as alligator bait in the state of Florida. It says white hunters rented black babies as bait for $2. USF professor and historian Dr. Ray Arsenault says it's possible this practice was more than just folklore. Young black children were a stock character in postcards and... Uh, Kind of this, this uh, the dark humor used to uh, really to to make fun of and denigrate uh, African Americans. Wright plans on having a conversation with Fuchs to better understand his decision and maybe reverse it. He's not black, you know. If he didn't do the things that I have done and my teammates have done in the history of the University of Florida, so he would know. He would have no idea. The year of '95 when we was 12 and 0, that was part of our history. If you ain't a gator, you must be gator bait. Why we abolish our history for someone else that did something 200 years ago?